another edition of Toothpicks. Today I got something special and this is for our guys out there. Here in Texas we like our beef. So today I'm going to make some beef ribs. Look at these boys right here. Now you can get these at any grocery store you want. Today I got them from the grocery store. I didn't go to the butcher shop. Better quality at the butcher shop. But today I'm going to share with you some special rubs. This was pretty simple so that's what makes it so special. And I hope y'all enjoy and let me know how you like it. Now what we got right here is what you call beef ribs. They're a little bit bigger than the spare ribs, not your average rib. But if you like beef, you'll like these. They're a little more meatier. There's not a lot you can do to these as far as preparing them. Um, you can get them trimmed. You don't have to. What I do, I've already done this. I've taken off the membrane off the back. And that allows for some of the spices to get up into your beef. And the only thing on trimming you have to do wise is, you know, you have to make sure stuff don't burn. So I like take off, you know, maybe a little bit of meat here and there. You don't want to take off too much meat. You don't want to take off too much fat because the fat, it protects it. What I got right here is, uh, in Texas, you know, we like to do simple rubs. So this is the basic, you know, two parts salt, two parts pepper, half salt, half pepper, in other words. If you want to get a little fancy with it, I added a couple other little spices to it, like garlic or cumin, whatever you want to add. So the first thing we're going to do, I got some olive oil right here. You can use mustard. Some people you want to use mustard. What I do is I put it over beef ribs just like that. Do another one just like that. Not too much. You know, you just want your rub to stick real well to your meat when it's cooking. You don't want it to fall off and right off your meat. You know, this is help, you know, absorb some of that rub you have. Pour a little more if you need. You know, get it all over that, that um, beef rib. Turn them over, do the same thing. Spread it out, you know, get it up here by the bones. There you go. You know, you don't have to make this difficult. It's, these are pretty easy to do. The only thing you need to be cautious of, you want to, you know, take your time with beef. Because beef takes a little while to cook. And that's about it, right? All you do right there. Next thing you want to do, you're going to take your rub. What I'm going to do, I'm going to remove one of these gloves. And I like, you know, I have a little shaker right so what here. I do, I have a funnel. And I just put it right here up in the shaker. You don't have to be any fancy shakers. Just save a shaker you use with the seasoning you had in your cabinet. Go ahead and screw this top on. Give it a shake. You want to shake this as you spread your rub because you know the salt is going to try to settle at the bottom and you don't want to get you know more salt than pepper you want to have like an even coat you can add more pepper if you want and what I like to do I'll just go side to side just like that you don't want to overdo it because it can be too strong and some people you know they probably don't like a lot of pepper and but you know I'm making these for myself and my family so they pretty much like anything I make ain't that right baby Really? <laughs> Do the same for the back. Shake it up. See that salt is starting to settle. I want to see a lot of pepper on these. You know, get up here on these edges. A lot of people don't do that, but I like to get seasoning everywhere I can. Shake it up a little bit. You know, you can add your own rub. If you want to go buy a store-bought rub, go do that. I tend to, like, experiment with my own. You know, sometimes I go get a store-bought rub if I'm being lazy. But you can't be too lazy when you're doing barbecue. You know, you got to put in all you can, and it'll come out right. So I think that right there is a pretty good shake on these beef ribs. A little more, just because I want to. And the next thing we do, we'll take these out. And we're getting ready for the smoke. All right, guys. Now we out here with the smoker. We got these ribs ready. We're gonna throw these bad boys on. So I'm just gonna be using my vertical smoker today. All you wanna do? Open this latch. Find a couple of these racks. And what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna throw it on these two middle racks. I like to keep a lot of air in between these. Put one right there. And the other one but right here in the middle you don't have to check these every hour I'll come back in about two hours I'm looking for about a four hour smoke four and a half about 250 
Sometimes people like to do 22, 25. And last thing I'm gonna do, you know, in Texas we like to use oak or the ski hickory, but today I'm gonna be using oak. Throw a couple of these wood chips in there. That's all I need right there. Close the door. Latch it. Let your tip come back up. I got it set. It's going to come back up about 225, 250. And that's about it. And go find something to do. Enjoy your day while you meet smoking. Come back with y'all and we'll check it. Hey, what's up, guys? Hey, we're back out here. Rib's been on the smoker about two and a half hours, maintaining about 250. Let's take a look at it and see what it looks like. Ooh, buddy. Look at this, look at this. Let's pull out one. Mmm, that looks good. I got a little spraying sauce I got right here. Got a little beer in it. A little apple cider vinegar. Spray that right there, keep it moist. What I'm trying to do is get a good bark on this. I like a dark, crusty bark. Not burnt, but a crusty bark. A little more over there. Put them back in and close the door. Let them go for another couple hours. Two hours. Come back out here and we'll take them off. All right. Hey, what's up, guys? Back. Ribs are off the smoker. Been letting them sit and rest. That's the most key thing to when you're doing any kind of meat, let it rest. Got them wrapped right here. I didn't wrap it the whole time I was smoking, and you can, but I control my fire good enough. So let's take them out, see what they look like. Boy, boy, boy. Now look at that, y'all. Hoping, I'm gonna set this over here. And I'm gonna take it off. Let me set these ribs. Get a look at that. Look at that juice. Mm, that looks yummy. Mm. Smells good, I'll tell you that. What you want to do, you know, this test you can do in order done. I kind of, if they pull away, but they don't fall off the bone, but they can pull away. That's how you know they're done. You know, so you don't want them real tender to be falling off too much. So let's cut into this thing and see what it looks like. Yeah, I think this is a pretty good piece. Don't that look good? You see that smoke ring? That's what you want. So, you know, after you cut you a couple pieces, you know what I like to do. Go ahead, you got your potato salad. You don't have to have sauce because I believe, you know, you, you cook good enough, your food's seasoned good enough, you don't need a sauce, but some people like it. Well, I made one right there. You got some pickles and some onions, kind of like what I like. You know, let's go ahead and throw you a couple on there. Finish with the bones, give them to your favorite dog, which is I give them a nightmare. And, of course, some shiner. And I hope y'all enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Tune in for another episode of Two Picks later. And let me know, comment, share, and make sure you subscribe if you like us. Thank you. See you next time. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to another edition of Two Picks. Today I got something special for you. If you're a man, if you're a carnivore, you're going to like these. Today we're making some beef ribs. Look at them bad boys right there. There's only a couple simple things you can do. What's up guys? Welcome to another edition of Two Picks. Today I got something special for our guys. We're going to be making beef ribs on the smoker. Here in Texas we like our beef. We like meat. I'm a carnivore, so that's my favorite thing. I love meat. So today... Oh.